All right, Mr. D, let's talk about apple tree diseases. Where would you okay. like to start with that? Uh, I guess let's start with probably one of the most common problems that we have, and it, probably one of the earliest ones in the year, ah. is fire blight. Fire blight. Mm -hmm. fire blight is a bacterial disease. It is uh, common during cool, wet conditions, which we have a lot of springs that are that way. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, the diagnostic, and, and I'm using a great publication from the University of Georgia. This is the diagnostic, it's a pictorial oh, diagnostic nice. guide to common home orchard diseases. And uh, so it is, the, I want to give full credit to the University sure. of Georgia. And uh, I just have the apple diseases here and, and fire blight, uh, is the symptom of it that you see is a, it's called a shepherd's crook. You'll have a die back from the ends of the branches due to a bacterial canker that's on that branch. And, and it may be 10, 12 inches, even longer. The leaves will turn black. There'll be a crook that will develop and they'll hang on the tree. It'll just stay on the tree. It won't fall off. This, uh, this disease, uh, very common on pears and yes. apples. And uh, the way you control it, if, if you have a history of problems, some, some varieties are more susceptible than others. But if you have a history of problems, then you need to spray during bloom with uh, actually twice, early bloom and late bloom, with an antibiotic. Mm. This is not something that's in your regular uh, cover sprays for, for apples. And it's agrostrep is one, streptomycin, yeah. agrostrep 17. There's several of them out there. They're listed for, labeled for fire blight control. So that's the way you control that. But it's gotta be taken care of before you see the problem. Okay. When you see the problem, there's too no late. need to do anything. Just okay. wait till wait next year and try to take care of it. Okay. So what do we do we need to prune out then? You do need the to prune out uh, the dead tissue You know, later in the year. You, you need to dip your pruning shears mm -hmm. in a solution of one part bleach to, to nine parts water and uh, to keep from spreading that uh, bacterial mm -hmm. infection to healthy tissue. Okay. And, uh, but yes, you do need to prune that out and dispose of it. Don't put it in your, uh, your uh, uh, compost bin. Right. You need to either burn it or, or yeah. get, get rid of it. Uh, another very, very common problem that will show up later in the year is cedar apple mm -hmm. rust. We have a lot of cedar trees mm -hmm. around in our area. This, this uh, disease spends about half, it spends part of its life cycle in a cedar tree. When it's in the cedar tree, the gall, it's kind of a purplish looking gall, that will erupt into a beautiful University of <laughs> Tennessee orange, UT orange <laughs> structure that will release spores. And the spores will travel to an apple tree. And on the apple tree, you have the bright UT orange spots on the leaf of the apple tree. All right, so how do you treat it? Well, uh, there's a couple of ways. You can, if you uh, cut down all the cedar trees within about a 10 or 15 mile <laughs> radius, that will be one way to control it. You take out the host. Uh, but a more practical way to take care of it is to follow the home orchard spray guide and, and with, for apple trees. And you, it, you spray with a solution that contains a uh, captan and malathion yeah. every 10 to 14 days, seven to 10 days, actually during the growing season. And uh, that will prevent that from being a problem. Okay. Wow. Uh, Another problem, which is very common on apple trees, is uh, sooty blotch and fly speck. Yeah, I know that one. Okay. When I grew up, I thought that all apples were supposed to have little spots on them. <laughs> and uh, this is a, this, this disease, uh, or disease is kind of a, a cerebral fungal organism that cause the, this, uh, it's pretty much on the, just on the skin of the apple. Okay. Uh, and uh, you can peel it off. If you scrub it off, you can actually scrub that? that off, but it will reduce the, the, the shelf life okay. of an apple. The home orchard regular cover sprays will take care of that. Okay. And that's, um, again, a, a, uh, the home orchard sprays that contain malathion and captan. And uh, uh, the next uh, disease I want to talk about is bitter rot. Mm -hmm. And it that. is a, uh, concentric circles in a, a rotten spot on the fruit of an apple tree. It's uh, caused by glomerella, and uh, it uh, uh, has kind of concentric rings like a target, but sometimes the, instead of being circular, they're kind of V-shaped. 
and it actually sinks into the, the fruit and it goes on into the fruit. But again, the home orchard, uh, you know, spray guide, uh, following the regular cover sprays with a, a mixture of Captan and Malathion, seven to 10 days uh, during the growing season, will take care of that. Okay, now is that considered to be a fungus? It is a fungal. It is a fungal. It is a fungal. Okay. Glomerella is, okay. a, is a, the fungal organism. Uh, another real common one is black rot. Wow. And this is uh, kind of a brown, starts out as like a bruised area on the blossom end or the calyx end of the apple. And then it spreads and it also goes up into the fruit. It's Botryosphyria. Botryos oh. I, I can't say it today, Botryosphyria. Yeah. <laughs> But it is a fungal organism, okay. and it can be controlled by using, you know, regular cover sprays every seven to ten days, with uh, fungicide captan and 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 then malathion as an insecticide. And I'm, you know, I'm throwing the insecticide in there because if you're going to spray with a fungicide, you may as well mm -hmm. control yeah. the insects while you're at it. So with the black rot and the bitter rot, I mean, the fruit is still edible. Yes. Except it Except, gets up in the okay. fruit, you've got to cut it out. Yeah, cut it out. You've okay. got to cut it out. Unlike uh, the the fly speck and 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 uh, uh, or the earlier ones that were just on the skin. This right. this this will go into the fruit, and it will cause the entire. Uh, it can ruin the entire fruit, and and uh, with most of these, with the the fruit will hang on the tree like a mummy will hang on the tree. Mm -hmm. And sanitation is important. You right. need to pick those off and. And get rid of them again. Don't put them in your compost bin. Get, you know, put them in the Walmart bag, double bag them, get rid of them or something, you know, <laughs> and put them in the garbage. Right. Uh, apple scab is another very common okay. uh, uh, disease, and it is uh, uh, present on, on the leaves. It's, it's sometimes it's called uh, frog eye leaf spot. Oh, okay. But uh, it has scabby lesions on the fruit, and it tends to be more on the skin, uh, but uh, it's a very common common problem in apples and uh, it can be controlled again with a with a regular you know uh, cover spray uh, okay. every seven to ten days uh, wow. and you know if if you get a rain and it washes it off you, it's gone you need to go back out there and do it again it can be really hard during during rain conditions sure. but again the cover sprays uh, contain captan and uh, malathion uh, White rot is, uh, again, Botryosphyria, it's the same uh, genus but a different uh, species. Okay. Uh, it causes, uh, and it has depressed, soft, enlarged lesions on the fruit. And it's, it's a really, it really will wipe out your fruit pretty quick. But uh, uh, it's uh, more of a late season problem uh, in apples and pears. And uh, it becomes soft really quick. Mm -hmm. Most of uh, the other rots, uh, the black rod and uh, is is kind of hard at okay. first, and it takes it a while to get soft. But uh, serious disease, uh, sanitation again is important. Remove the mummified apples that are hanging on the tree, but prevent it from occurring with uh, by using a home orchard spray guide and uh, you know regular cover sprays with okay. a material that contains captan or malathion. Wow. Uh, and that's that's the main. Those are the main ones. Apple diseases that we see, and we see all of these in, in yeah, the mid south. Yeah, do we have that here? We see them all in the mid south. We sure do. Wow. Yeah. Appreciate that good information, Mr. D. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the FamilyPlotGarden.com link in the description.